This is my reciprocating spindle sander. I'm going to show you what I did for dust collection on this. And I promise this will be the last dust collection topic, at least for the year. Collecting dust on this was no easy feat. They provided a pipe sticking out of here for a hose. I believe that was originally three inch. I increased it to four inch. And this is nothing more than a, a funnel in a, a meager attempt to try and collect dust up around the spindle. The sanding spindle screws in there. This is turning and reciprocating and the only thing that this funnel is going to collect is what accidentally falls in front of it. When that opens up like that and this whole area is open, you're not going to be able to create any downdraft here to speak of and all your air velocity in that is lost. The manufacturer wanted to be able to tilt this table. I've had this spindle sander for eight years and I have yet to have a need to tilt it. But nonetheless, the manufacturer wanted to say that, that you could tilt this table. All of this is wide open and you're not going to be able to collect any dust off of this to speak of. So again, what I'm going to put on here requires that the table remain level. Using pieces of plywood, I'm going to build a shroud underneath this table that surrounds the spindle and creates a downdraft around my sanding sleeve. And these inserts go in here and you use one that's got the right size hole for the sleeve you're using and it creates a pretty good velocity going down through there. And I'm not going to go into the details of how I built this. The way it works is this slides in underneath the table. This one fits in around that funnel dust collection thing here in the back. And this piece locks this one in place. This piece comes in here, slides in there, and matches up with the table tilting mechanism on this other side to surround this tabletop on, on three sides. This piece comes in here, put this one back a little bit. And then the, this piece is locked in by that first one and this little strip of plywood fits in there and blocks off that hole. It also keeps this one from falling over. And that's it. It is then pretty well surrounded on all four sides. You still have slots open in through here and that, but this has proven to be effective enough where it creates a decent downdraft around the sanding sleeve. The idea is simple. Build a box around your work area and force the air to go where you need it for effective dust collection. I think this is another good example that you can create effective dust collection for just about any piece of equipment you have. Like they say, get her done, make it happen, keep the dust out of your lungs.